been all year, but 67-60 with three minutes to go. You know how mad I was that we fouled? <laughs> that was out of a time. Like, we talked. We're not fouling now. We went and fouled 40 feet from the goal we fouled. I almost lost my mind. Uh, but we come back with three. DeAndre makes a big three. Um, again, I mean, DeMarcus tried to steal the ball. And luckily, we blocked the shot. We didn't want to. We just wanted to lock down and make it tough for them. And so we, we had some errors. We subbed Ramon in for DeMarcus so we could switch pick and rolls. And Ramon switched, and the guy, the other guy didn't switch. And they threw it back and gave a three. I mean, those are things that happened down the stretch to us. But we made basketball plays and blocked a few shots. Patrick's block was unbelievable. I thought Patrick played terrific today. But they kept the, the middle pick and roll, what was happening, too, uh, Boast did a great job of get creating angles to the rim. We want those guys in those situations that they keep coming to shoot over us. They didn't. They, sh they created angles and got to the rim and shot layups. We haven't had that happen all year. How big was uh, Bernardo, that flurry of fouls and getting him out of the picture? That was big. You know, obviously uh, that hurt them. And, and let me say this, They're, this is a tough 25 team. I know they lost a couple games, and I know this and this. But when you have guys that can shoot the way they do, when you have that big kid inside, you have those other two kids that are 6'8", six, 6'9", six, that can shoot threes and drive the ball and play basketball, this team will be fine. I think at the end of the day, uh, they'll be right there with that opportunity to be in the NCAA tournament. And you watch how this finishes out. Rick does a great job with this team. He did a great job today. They should have won the game. I mean, we kind of reached out and grabbed one. I don't know how we did it, but we did. He gave his team every chance to win the game. This is an NCAA tournament team. They're top 20 team. I know that top 25 minimum. Can I talk about the shot that Patrick hit to tie the game to put into Big time. Big time shot. And, and you know what? He, he just had confidence. There was only one or two plays that he played fast. How about the dunk underneath the basket? We just turned and dunked it. And that's what we've been waiting for. The, the rebounding, the scoring points. He's capable of doing it. I mean, we want, we're want we begging him to do it, and he is capable, and I'm proud of him. That shot came after a timeout. You guys had taken a couple of threes prior to that. Was that something you were looking we for? We were trying to swing it back, drive it, drive it, and see what we had. And he ended up on the baseline wide open. Um, you know, the, the, the issue on that side out of bounds late, the people that know me know I don't call many timeouts in those situations. But this team is so young. I've had to call more timeouts this year than I have in the last five years. Um, to advance it, why did I call a timeout on the advancing the ball? Because John didn't have it, Eric did. If John had had it, we'd have let him play out. It's not that I don't want Eric to make that play, but I, John has made it ten times. You've got to go with the, the, the percentages. On the side out of bounds, the mistake I made was we didn't have Patrick take it out the first time. I had a smaller player take it out, and he could not get it in. That was my mistake. And then the last play, John Wall was the one that said, whoever cuts that way is going to be open. And he said it, and they, he and Eric cut the other way, and DeAndre cut that way. Got a great look. I thought the ball was in, by the, by the way. He ball fake, which was the right thing to do to try to draw a foul. He didn't draw the foul. He shoots the ball, and it was right there. I thought it was in.